Hello, welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's with the Darling Donkey. To make this card I used the stamp set Darling Donkey and I've used him. And I've also used the Hey There Friend and It's Your Birthday. For the inside I used Handsomely Suited and just a happy birthday to you. Like that. For the cards, I've got a piece of soft suede at 11 and a quarter by 4 and 1 8, scored at 5 and 7 8, folded in half. For some reason, I've got a crease in it, but you can't see it, or well, you won't see it. Piece of crumb cake at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and a piece of white card at five and a half by three and three quarters. It's gone there, and a piece of scrap for the donkey, and another piece of white card when I get it out for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And I've also used these papers, and they are, there is a white piece, I know there is, a stamping up. Oh, I haven't got the backing that tells you what papers they are. They're retired, but I've got them in my box, so I thought I'd use them. So what we need to do is punch out using the tailored tag punch. Can you see that there? And we need to punch out five. And I've picked five different uh, pieces of wood. Now I have got some. So we'll use that one. And we'll use that one. And... I'm going to use this one, except I want it the way the grain is going. That's three. That's too light. I haven't got that one, so we'll have. Oh, we'll have that side. Let's see if I can get one out there. That's four. All right, we need one more. That's a nice wood. So we've got five tags here, which I'm quite happy with. Scrap them. Yeah, so that's our five bits of five tags. Keep them to one side. And now we've got to stamp the donkey. Now what I did with this donkey, I don't want the rose. So I just inked it up normally. And then wiped off the rose. I might have wiped his bit of his face off, but that's all right because you just get a fine line pen. And just draw in 
the bit of the face you took off. As you can see, I've got marks there, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to cut him out. Right, we'll let that dry and what we will do is bring our white piece in and we'll stick down these um, pieces of wood. So I'm going to put the darkest. So we've just got to stick these down like that. So I'm going to stick this middle bit down first. I'm not measuring or nothing, I'm just eyeballing that I get the middle. And then I'm leaving a gap between each punch bit and then just making sure they're lined up properly. see that. That was all I did there. I mean you could have put one there but I didn't want it hanging off the um, edge of the paper as I did try it. Ended up having to punch out about 20 tags because I arranged it in so many different ways and I didn't like it. Right, place that on our crumb cake and then we'll place that on our card base. Like so. Right, now we're going to colour in our donkey and then cut him out. Oh no, I've got to stamp our uh, sentiment on here. Should have, should have done it before I stuck it down. Never mind. Oh, that goes on the inside. This is for the inside. Upside down. Don't like that, it's not very straight. That's better. Put that to one side. And we've got... Oh, I don't think I've got hay there friend out, I didn't. sure it's on there straight. I'm just going to check that's on there straight. Yeah. Right, with this, we're then just going to pop that there like that. 
and the same with it's your birthday. Let's just check to make sure it's straight. Yep. And we're just going to pop that there. Don't do what I did. Put your stamp in before you stick your papers down. That way, if you do make a mistake, you've only wasted your white card and your punches and not everything else. Pop that inside. There we are. Right now, to colour our donkey in and cut them out. I have coloured, got here, a array of colours. Right, I've got pink, light flirty flamingo for the inside of his ears. Inside his nostrils and his bottom lip. And I also want to open his eyes so with this thin pen I've just put a circle and give him some eyes. Just opened his eyes a bit. Right, I've got this yellow which is light so saffron. I know you think it's weird but I've just coloured his teeth. As you notice, horses and donkeys are light teeth, the yellow teeth. Right, I've got uh, black. I don't want black. Is this black? I don't want black. I'm going to do soft suede. I've got soft suede dark here and I'm going to do his sticky up bits of his mane and his tail. And his hoofs. And now with granite grey, we're going to colour in the donkey. I've got granite grey dark and I'm just going to run some dark under where you think shadows are going to be. And in between his hair. And then take the granite light and blend that in. There 
There we are. Our nice little donkey. Right. What we're going to do now is cut him out. My black ink has really run on this. Not run, smudged. I've left a little white border around him. I've picked a thicker white card to cut him on. Rid of all the big bits. I wish I hadn't cut, uh, stamped them on this thick card. A lot harder to cut out then on my normal card. Card's not as pliable. Right, there he is. Oh, donkey. And he will sit on there, on some dimensionals. Now I'm going to put these little ones, mini dimensionals, I'm going to put one on his ear, one on each ear, they just fit on his legs. And one on his tail. I think that fits on there. Yep. And then a couple on his body. And take all the backs off. Just place him in the middle, like that. And that is our card made. Yeah. I hope you like that. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you like, 
share and comment. I do like the comments. And if you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Or like I say, thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.